people have been idiotic at this game, so I decided to make a video about it. So, in zombie stories, there are four classes. Even though the choices are limited, many people got every class wrong. And I will show you how to use every class properly. The first class is Assault, a very universal and beginner-friendly class that uses an assault rifle. Also, it has a focus ability which speeds up pretty much everything, firing, reloading, interacting, all will be sped up, just like having a seizure. This class is somewhat useful in co-op for dealing with both regular zombies and bosses alike, assuming that nobody complained about it, lol. The spray pattern of most assault rifles are easily controllable but can still pose a struggle in long range. Fuck off you son of a bitch. Who are you talking to? And then I changed my mind so don't have to think about it. The next one should be Medic, a healer class that uses SMGs and provide medkits to other players, though the stock is limited. Medic's ability is to place down a medkit that gives full heal to all players including the user itself, but I forgot to mention that everyone must interact with the kit to do so. And, if you didn't comment before you found out about this, congrats, you're not a madman. The SMGs here, despite being full auto and having fast fire rate, they don't actually throw you off, but deal somewhat small damage, and therefore only used for self-defense, especially if you're taking account of P90's existence as a PDW. You know what? Fuck this shit. What the hell is a doctor doing here with a gun? Next up, Support Class. It's an obviously support class that uses more than one weapon type and provides ammo for other players including itself. To sum things up, the support class has the most amount of weapon types, going up to three different types. Starting with SMGs, then the sharp guns, and lastly, the LMGs. It has the ability to place down an ammo box that gives ammo to other players, but just like the medic with the medkit thing, players must interact with it. Of course we've already talked about SMGs. But let's break down the shark guns and LMGs. The shark guns deal spread damage, creating high DPS on close quarters via multishot but lacks general firepower at longer ranges, due to balancing reasons. For the LMGs, they boast a largest load of ammo but their recoil can be a nightmare for the untrained users, but nothing compared to hip firing a sniper rifle later on. Why is everyone fucking wasting their ammo? Otherwise, this meta is getting fucked up by some idiots who just wanted a story. So there was a collision issue with that one piece of brick, idk why it happened, but many people will assume anyone going through this pillar is hacking. Stop it, get some help. Anyways, for the last class, the Sniper. My least favorite class due to the game's CQB nature, only if you get three bad. Sniper excels at taking down bigger enemies such as Smashers and other bosses with their Sniper rifles, but they are not going well against multiple weak zombies. Sniper rifles 
might be powerful on concept, but remember that most of the time you will fight zombies in close quarters, rendering these guns situational as some stages didn't have an encounter with neither mini-bosses nor bosses alike. By the way, the matchmaking is kinda bad here because I met Chinese people and my keyboard is English, what do you expect from me? Say John Zena in the chat. Well gotta fucking go straight into reworking this bitch's class. My approach here is to make Sniper's moveset weapon dependent. So, we got Assault's ability, Focus. Its sole purpose is to boost semi-auto rifles like the M1A1 carbine and notably fast bolt action rifles like Lee Enfield shown in the video. For support's ability, ammo box. It seems pointless at first, but realizing that most sniper rifles have minimal ammo reserve, especially the big ass antimaterial rifles with slow bolts, might make sense. Let me know in the comments if you happen to come across a full auto DMR. I was expecting SG550 from Counter Strike to be here. Toxic zombies didn't poison the players, you know something's wrong. Within the next few days, I'm about to move out whilst touching grass along the way. And I'm staying somewhere else for years to come meaning that I'm not going back to gaming longer than what you think and therefore I will switch the topic right away.